Hey guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. Welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to give you four key Google AdWords optimization strategies that you should be implementing on your weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly optimization days. Very important stuff. That said, let's get right into it. So you should be logged in your AdWords account. You can see here we're logged into our wet label campaign. And we're going to go through a, a quick four hit checklist of AdWords optimization strategies. Obviously, there is a ton more you can do. But for this video, this is just some higher level stuff. I'm going to give you four. All right. So we're in our campaign here. The first one is keyword bids. So how do we do that? You come into keywords at the campaign level, sort by clicks. And we're going to look at <clears throat> which keywords are driving leads and which are not. Really easy. So we can see here this guy, and I've already done this, by the way. It's what the bids are adjusted, but I'll go through it with you anyway. So this guy right here, three clicks, two conversions. Looks good. 66% conversion rate. I really can't complain about that. So what I would do is increase the bid, which I've already done here. So I jack the bids up on that, a couple dollars, two, three dollars depending on what you you know what you're already at your daily budget and stuff but I would always go a couple dollars at least and you can see the one below that we got three clicks no leads I'm gonna go down a couple dollars so that's really the gist of this year really simple you come through comb through your data scale up your winners with a couple dollar bids increase a couple dollars scale down your losers really really easy and powerful and people mostly overlook that the next one we're gonna do is up here. We're going to come, so if we're under keyword column at the uh, campaign level, we're going to come up here to search terms. So search terms, what is this? What are we looking at? Search terms are the are just the actual search query that was typed into Google that, that triggered your ad. So this is what people actually typed into Google. Now this is pretty much the same type deal as what we did with the uh, keyword optimization, keyword bid optimization. All we're going to do here is add keywords that converted for us that we aren't currently bidding on. So you can see here, I've already added these. I've added a few of these actually. So all these keywords here that I've added were keywords that that um, were uh, that were doing well over the course of the campaign. So you can see here, these got a couple leads. These ones got one. These ones don't have any leads, but they're really, really specific to the ad group, so I added them. So what, how, you, how do you do that? Okay, so let's say that we got these two here. We're like, oh, wow, we just looked at our data from the last, whatever, 30 days, and this brought us three leads. We're not even bidding on them. Cool. All right, check them. Add this keyword. Now, very, very important, pay attention. You want to add them as exact match, okay? Do not add them as broad match. You don't, you don't want broad match. It's just going to be, uh, I'm going to save you a ton of time and wasted money and headaches if you just follow this. So either do phrase or exact match. If you don't understand keyword match types, that's okay. I'll put a link below in the description for all the keyword match types and which ones you should be using, how they work, why you need them. So just go watch that and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about with the exact match here. But very important, you want to, you want to do these exact or phrase match. I always just do exact because they, they exact keyword would brought the lead, so it just makes sense. So that's how you would do that. You would just hit apply and add those. Now, if you want to exclude, like this keyword, we don't want anything with the word software in it. So this keyword, if you, so let's just say we want to exclude this keyword, I would click the check, check the box here, come up here, go over to add as a negative keyword, do it at the campaign level, very important, and it automatically makes it exact match negative. And I would just exact match negative that, and I would hit save, and that would add that, which I've already done. You can see here it says excluded. So that's, that's uh, tip number two there. Now the next one we're going to go into is device bids, very important. I don't know why I just want the overview, it's down here. Devices, and you can see here we have computers slash desktop. We have tablets, which are iPads and the Android pads, and mobile phones, self-explanatory. So you can see here we can adjust bids based on what's converting and what's not. Don't pay attention to what we have here. We just we didn't want to run mobile traffic for this campaign. So let's just say these are all down to zero. We'd say, oh, wow, shit, we got six leads from desktop computers, so we jacked this bid up, 5 10%, whatever you're comfortable with. Let's say tablets got 15 clicks and no leads. Well, that's stupid. Let's decrease that by 20% or 15% or whatever. You want to you wanna increase your winners, decrease your losers. That's all optimization is for AdWords. It's really important and so overlooked. Now, the fourth and final tip here 
which should be pretty self-explanatory. You want to go down to the ad group level. We're going to go into each ad group. <clears throat> Come up here to ads and extensions. And you want to optimize your ad text. So obviously I don't have enough data here to do that, but I'm going to walk you through how you would do it. So obviously this ad here is just crushing it, 17% click-through rate. So ideally you want to have a click-through rate of over 2.5%. That should be the bare minimum. You always want to be over that. And a lot of that has to do with the type of keywords and traffic you're sending to. Like I said, stay away from broad mesh keywords and your CTR will improve. So that should be your benchmark. 2.5 should be the, the uh, minimum CTR, which means click-through rate. It's the number of times your ads clicked versus the impressions. That's all CTR means. And conversion rates, obviously, the most important thing is that's how many lead. That's a percentage that um, our clicks turn into leads. All right, so we got four leads out of this one ad, which is incredible. It's awesome. So let's say that this ad had uh, this ad had three clicks and one conversion, and th these two ads had ten clicks each and no conversions. So what would we do? We would obviously leave the two winners alone. We'll pause these two losers and we'll create two new ones to run against the two winners. And you want to do that every 7 to 14 days to uh, continually optimize your your um, ad groups, okay, with, with fresh ad text. Really, really, really important stuff that's so overlooked, all right? So if you guys have any questions about these four tips, drop them below in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you can. I really appreciate it. And check out the links in the description. I'll put up those links to those videos I talked about earlier. I'll also drop a link to a free ebook I have that goes over a few more optimization tactics that you can download and just use as a reference guide when you're optimizing your campaigns. So other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video.